Early morning here and it's minus seven. It's absolutely Baltic. I got up this morning um, and something was strongly coming to me in prayer. Uh, yesterday I did that interview with Terry Quinn and there's been some comments in the odd email about, um, about Terry and I was just bringing it all to prayer. Um, bringing it all to prayer and our lady said to me, Robert, think about Derry. Who were the men that came to Derry? And our lady showed me the picture of who came to Derry. And if men think about what happened in Derry, who came to Derry? We had every representative of practically every movement and strand of Catholicism in Derry. Uh, you had the SSPX resistance, the SSPX, the Institute of Christ the King, people who go there, diocesan traditional Latin mass. You had, now they mightn't have all got in, but they all came to St. Columbus and Derry. They all came, representatives. Um, you had charismatic, you had every strand of Irish Catholicism was represented in Derry around the bishop in St. Columbus. I didn't plan that. That's Our Lady. And she showed me this. She's showing me that as Catholic men, we need to be able to look into the eyes of our baptized brother and understand that we need to work together as brothers in Christ to re-evangelize Ireland. That's what Derry is. That's what Our Lady did. That's, I'm absolutely 100% convinced. And I spoke to... You know, our Christ didn't, isn't giving me any great revelations. He's not giving, feeding me messages every day. Christ said to me, I will speak to you, Robert, in my church. And he pointed to the gospel where I'll find him. He points to the Eucharist and he's pointing to his church. So I have to be very humble and say, OK, Lord, where you lead me, I need to listen. I need to be careful. I need to be very, very careful going forward. What you're asking me to do, who you're pushing in my path, I need to listen. Terry Quinn is critical. He's a critical part of the renewal of the faith in Ireland. Why is that? Because I, Christ, put, put him in my path. I wasn't planning to meet him. Didn't even know him. Had never heard of him. Up to uh, going to that uh, Contagious for Christ conference in um in the north in cavan i actually don't know the exact address um but the day after i met terry quinn the day after i met terry quinn i met a pentecostal pastor in dublin airport this is the day after this is how the holy spirit works and the pentecostal pastor says yeah i checked out the catholic faith but no i didn't feel called to it um uh, so i went to the pentecostal church this is a man looking for christ now if that man in his search if i had encountered that man in the search who would i ring up looking for advice it would be terry quinn you know and um you know our lady is is uh, I know this to be true. Our Lady wants us all as baptized brothers to work together to preach the, the gospel at this moment in time. Um, and Derry, uh, Derry is a manifestation of what Our Lady is asking us to do as men to come before her son, united as brothers in Christ, to use all of the tools of the Catholic Church. All of the tools that exist in Catholic tradition need to be brought out and used. That includes a traditional Latin Mass. That includes what is happening in the charismatic movement. Everything that is happening in the Church needs to be used to its full extent to preach the one faith the true faith the deposit of the faith what is written in the catechism of the catholic church not what has been invented in the synodal process we need to preach the catholic faith and uh, our lady is calling us to work together if we think about what happened in Derry, the day after Derry, who did our lady send to saint columbus in Derry? She had Michael Kelly, the editor of the Irish Catholic. Now, I know many Catholics will say, and I was one of them, oh, the Irish Catholic this, the Irish Catholics that, and Michael Kelly is this, and Michael Kelly is that. What did Michael Kelly write? What did the Holy and Spirit inspire Michael Kelly to write in the Irish Catholic last week? The real enemy of the faith, those who don't know Christ, the 5,000 suicides in the North. 
Michael Kelly has hit the nail on the head as regards what is what is the real enemy of the Irish church? Who is winning in Ireland? Who is winning? Who is leading people into depression, to suicide, to, you know, everything that that is, you know, away from the church? Who is winning? You know, she places the men where she needs them to be to understand what the mission is in the Irish church now. And we need to use every single tool available to us to preach Christ. To preach Christ. Men will know this, you know. You know, I, it's good that I get criticism from every side because I must be doing something right. From the liberals that criticize me, oh, he's too traditionalist. And from the traditionalists, oh, he's gone too charismatic. I recognize the real enemy in Ireland. The real enemy is Satan doesn't want men, women, families to know who Jesus Christ is. His power, his love, his the reality that we're meant for more, that this life is not everything, that suffering isn't everything in this life. There is more. There is, there is the resurrection beyond the cross. There is the resurrection. We have to, we have to preach that. Um, Our Lady called to Derry the men that she needed in Derry that weekend. And you know now why. She needs us united firmly united in the church and we need to work with priests and bishops this became very clear she needs us firmly united um as baptized brothers now to preach christ to preach christ to preach his message to preach his gospel we need to we need to be i'm it's it's a grace for me to have so much clarity about what I was called to do, the message I was called to give. You know, Christ prepared me for this time. Christ has been preparing other people around Ireland for this time, for this moment, so that we can give a message with conviction, with clarity, with passion, with sincerity, with truth. We've been called for this. And Derry was the rallying cause. She stood up the men in front of her son that day for a mission. She called all the church in Ireland together. She called every, she called the, the whole church in Ireland. She called together around the bishop. Why did Our Lady do this? What is the message she's giving from Derry? Think about it, guys. You know, we walked into that church in Derry and we had the SSPX resistance giving out leaflets about tradition Latin mass. They, people forget they were there. Why did she call every single ma uh, group to, around Ireland to Derry? Because we need to understand, we need to be united. And you know, Satan is delighted to see Catholics divided in Ireland. Because you can't preach, you can't preach Christ divided. We, as Catholics, we cannot preach the, the gospel divided as Catholics. We need to unite. We need to unite. We need to draw every single tool around Ireland. If I met somebody that was, you know, coming to the faith that's on the autistic spectrum, that likes low sensory mass and so forth, who would I send them to? A traditional Latin mass. They would be nourished by that. They would find a chat. They would, they would be encouraged by that. And I know people like that. They, they, they just prefer traditional Latin mass. They prefer that faith experience they find that nourishing they find that beautiful and we should encourage that we should grow that we should permit that what pope benedict did was right at the same time if i if i encountered that pastor from a pentecostal movement um and i'm 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 looking to engage him with the catholic faith or he's looking to engage with the catholic faith who do i call i call terry quinn you know and this is the message that Christ is giving to, to us. You know, we, sh we have to stand together as baptized brothers and sisters now. And understand, the real enemy is the 70 to 80% of ca baptized Catholics in Ireland who do not know the faith, who have never had a real encounter with Christ, who don't know his capacity to change your life. That is the real enemy. That is the real enemy. You know, Michael Kelly writes about 5,000 Catholics who have taken their lives since the Good Friday Agreement. What could we have done if we had preached the gospel? 
if we sincerely believed in our Lord Jesus Christ, what could we have done? How could we have done that differently? You know, that's nearly double. Is it nearly double the, the amount of people that died in the troubles themselves? And if you think about all the suicides that happened before the Good Friday Agreement, and that's just Northern Ireland. Guys, think about where we're going. Who is winning? And meditate on what Our Lady is asking us to do. What sign did she give in Derry? The men in Derry know what happened. You saw it. You saw the power of the Holy Spirit in St. Columbus on the 19th of November. She drew all her sons together. Representatives from all the strands of Catholicism in Ireland together. Why did she do that? Why did she put us all in front of her son, the living body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ? I mean, traditional Catholics, the Society of St. Pius X affirms that the Eucharist consecrated in the Novus Order is the body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's not divide ourselves over the Eucharist. The Eucharist is the body, blood, soul and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Should we offer the sacrifice to the Mass more reverently? Absolutely, yes. But the, the, the church will only reform by saints, by us being saints now, by saints, by, by, by surrendering ourselves to our Lord Jesus Christ and saying, we can't do it, but you can, Christ. And, and we, we have to be witnesses of that. Us Irish have to be witnesses of the faith. And from Ireland, the flame of the faith will be renewed across Europe again. It's going to happen. The road to the triumph starts this Sunday, the 18th of December. The road to the triumph starts this Sunday, the 18th of, of December, and it starts from Derry. It starts from a woman from Derry. Her immaculate heart will triumph and it will tr start and will proceed from Derry. This Sunday, the feast of the expectation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, this Sunday from Derry, it will start. Our Lady is, not, is leading us as men back to her son. She started it in Derry. Look at what she's doing. This is far bigger than anything that we could have expected. You know, so I'm giving this encouragement. I'm giving this, this warning really to Irish Catholics. Meditate on the real enemy of the Catholic faith. The real enemy of the Catholic faith is those that don't know it, those that have been dragged away from it, the division, you know. And once we realise this, you know, we need to band together. We need to be on fire for our Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, Our Lady has picked Terry Quinn and others in Ireland, you know, to give a message, to be passionate about their faith, to love the faith. You know, she put him on the path that he was put on for a reason. What is the message he's able to give us? You know, meditate on it. This is critical, guys. Okay, God bless. Take care.